Hey guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today we're gonna be uh, helping our little boy here, Tim, to uh, pick up his uh, sacks of cement, which somehow just got spilled all over this area here. I'm not sure whether the, what, what was the problem there. Uh, let's check it out. Tim's house? What, what, what was that even called? Uh, lost bags, right? Yeah, lost bags. Dyson Diesel here. One of our contractors has lost a number of construction materials down the river. We need them back. Okay, cool. Right, so uh, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be taking our uh, base star. Let's down a little route here. Uh, it doesn't look too terribly bad in terms of uh, what we should be uh, handling. I mean, minus this one section here looks relatively I mean, easy, <laughs> let's be fair, but uh, we'll just see. Uh, the crane part might be a bigger issue than uh, I'm uh, giving it credit for. Also using a, a flatbed for this, uh, just to help with uh, actually putting stuff on it. So we don't have to raise it above like we do in the sideboard. At this point, I still don't know why. I looked over the cargo uh, types, and I haven't seen any type of cargo which would, you know, benefit from having a cyborg, like no you know, loads of sand or something. So uh, I'm entirely unsure as to why one would get the cyborg instead of this. I mean, tipping over, maybe, maybe the little. I mean, yeah, I guess that can be a thing. We've had situations where the sideboard trailer helped us uh, prevent uh, tipping over. Uh, I mean, we tipped over, but the cargo didn't really fall out. So I guess that might be why you might want to get the sideboard. But that's a little bit cheesy, because if the cargo ever gets unpacked, it definitely gets unpacked just so, uh, you know, it can fall out of the truck. But if it doesn't fall out of the truck, it just seems uh, a bit anticlimactic. So yeah. Mm. The debate on uh, sideboard versus flat, flatboard. Is it the flatboard, or am I just saying it wrong? Anyway, a bit between those two. We'll continue on until I uh, sit on a solution for it. Now we'll be going on the left side of the river here, which, uh, as we've seen with the scout, it's not great. It's pretty. Muddy, and we've had issues with the scout itself. This might fare better just because uh, it has a wider base and well, more power. But we'll see. Let's do all wheel drive. Here we were in no bad gear, anyway. drive this so we can save some time. Full muck away. Wow, it just goes through. I mean I've been impressed by the pay star every I mean every time and ever since I actually got it great little truck, well, little truck, big truck. Be careful here, we have flipped cars and trucks on this road before. They're not as big as this one, but the bigger they are, the more they uh, flip down the mountain. No, 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 no. Um, let's use that little, because this does not have an autonomous scout, this does not have an autonomous scout uh, winch, so let's uh, be super careful here, let's actually winch ourselves onto that, just to make sure that we 
have a little safety and security there. Let's winter ourselves here. Uh, I don't know if I showed this to you guys, but we have upgraded to an extended medium winch just because we have uh, level 9, level 8, level 9, with just enough XP to get the extended medium winch on um, big trucks now. Let's be careful here yet again. I said let's be careful. Okay, whew. Um, do we have any good options? Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, let's... Do we have any... We could pull this, but I really fear that will be... Tipping over. The thing is, if, we, if the engine stalls, we're in a very bad situation. Okay, let's try something ridiculous. Let's, uh, I, let's uh, control the crane. I know, I know, this is silly, but just go with me. Wow, there we go. There we go, come on. Um, that's what we want, and then we want to lower it. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. This is indeed something. Uh, okay, that camera doesn't help us one bit. Can I? Let's, uh, let's, let's restore the crane. Was not enough. Are we even moving in any way, shape, or form? No, we kind of aren't. Okay, let's uh, let's try pulling the the rear of the vehicle. No, wrong way. Uh, okay, let's try. The side, this is the safest. Wow, we are quite stuck here. Okay, anything we can pull backwards. Don't want to. We don't want to stall the engine because if we stall the engine, this is over. Okay, we like to make the anchor do anything because we have a little leg on the other side. No, it doesn't need to drive the terrain. Okay, let's try transformersing it again. Okay, 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 that's great, that's great. Wow, that was terrible, truly and entirely terrible. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to go on the left side here and try and detour a bit because I'm not going to risk this again. That's a pretty bad bend there. And you know how I said at the beginning of this episode this, this is going to be easy? Well... Okay, I'm not seeing exactly what I'm getting stuck on. Probably this tree. Actually, no. That's not even per se in the tree. I'm just... Uh, Is this 
side of the truck itself that got hitched at. As you can see, like, we're, you know, turning around it. Annoying, annoying. Okay, let's try this. Okay, perfect. Please winch. And there we go. That's how we do it. Let's do a left turn. Sorry. Let's do a left turn while I'm doing a right turn. Let's uh, grapple onto something with this. Let's head back to the main road. Oh wow, that was tough. And yeah, at the beginning of the episode, I'm just, I went like, ah, it's gonna be easy, there's nothing here. But yeah, again, if we if we tip over with the scout, it's all fun and games, right? Because I have the autonomous scout, which runs on battery power, doesn't need the engine to be fine, it can be stalled out. But on these big trucks, which you don't have that option, as far as I know, if you flip over, you are kind of done. Mm, so you are kind of done. And I'm glad that crane came in handy more than I thought it would. But yeah, for sure, you know what? Oh no! What? 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 what, what? Um. I was just gonna say, let me switch to the lower range and lower my speed so I have greater control. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any options, right? Because for sure the... Yeah. The other leg doesn't even move. Um... Yeah, the crane is useless. Okay then, it's great. Let's do this. Let's go garage. And let's take out the Chevrolet. And let's use this to flip over the, um, the truck. I mean, this is such a treacherous path. Damn. Kind of makes me think that uh, from this point onwards, it might be smart to actually use uh, uh, two trucks just in case of these situations. Just have like a, a support truck there with like a crane and uh, a strong winch to right those. Uh, situations but yeah for sure that's definitely a low speed area because you can see uh, when it starts to tip a lot easier when you're not going like the second gear of auto right I need to get the drink for this. <laughs> a 
Although drinking at 9 a.m. in the morning may be a bit too uh, too COVID. section to tip us before. Yeah, let's not spend 15 minutes actually getting the scout car there, shall we? Let's face straight down. And only do this. We we'll do the turn when we're as straight and flat as we can and then head straight upwards as little side to side sway as possible. And now we have this little section here which is horrible. Um, I'm not sure. I, I mean it's a terrible idea either way so let's try and do this. Let's get all the car here in the little lowland. We have just enough route. There we go. Yeah. Enough clearance to um, go past that tree. This little hole then stays on our uh, good side. And there we go. That's how you do it. And that's our truck. here. Let's park it. Let's turn off the engine because we don't really need it. And let's do this. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 a bit too much. Yeah, okay. Uh, apparently that's quite heavy. So, let's uh, go back to the auto range, so we can do backwards, let's remove the handbrake. Let's do this like a proper tow job. And no tow job is not a porn term. It's a freaky porn term. And let's pull this. Um, parking brake off. Let's try... Wow, that's definitely stuck in there. Luckily, I'm just bracing myself against this tree, but wow. Wow. Oh, is this even more tipped than it was before? Oh god, this is not really working out, is it? Okay then, um, let's try dragging it downwards, maybe that will work. Actually no, let's, um, we need grip, right? So let's... Wow, okay, no. Um, Let's try what we tried before. I don't really want to try smacking it. Yeah, that 
doesn't really work. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try winching it. Let's try going very slow, very steady, low rate. Okay, let's go down this little muddy patch here. Okay, let's switch over to... Range, activate differential lock, grab that, and okay, that doesn't do anything, but if I'm pulling the winch as well. Parking brake actually does worse for me. Wow. Uh, okay then. Let's try a higher speed low range. Act keep that differential active. Maybe it's just a matter of torque. Sorry, of speed, less than torque. Parking brake is a mistake. Wow. I could get the if only I could get the uh, the engine started on that one I could totally use the crane or you know its own winch to lift myself up but I just can't I literally I really can't that's really 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 stuck in there really well okay, I'm, I'm gonna try something really stupid here just pushing it along will do a better job. Or at the very least, turning it to a direction where I can flip it over better. I was just flipping it against the ditch. Okay, if I go back, does this uh, fall? It slides, but it doesn't fall. Okay, cool. Let's hurry it up before it actually flips over again. Because, again, if I'm going to uh, drag it downhill, I'll have the advantage. The engine started at this point. Yes, the engine is started. Cool. Uh, change truck. Ugh. Why? Why did the winch? Why did the winch? Okay, let's try. And do I remember poorly, but I. Do like multiple winches in like spin tires? Oh well, that's actually okay. Um, I will never jinx any of these tasks ever again by saying they're easy. Stop, stop, please stop. Okay. Okay, this, this 
seems like a nice little hole in the ground so I can uh, brace myself against. And I think I have just enough uh, tow range. Uh, not really. Okay, there we go. Okay, this didn't attach. Let's try again. Okay, it can't attach because it's just ever so slightly. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Why are you not? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Thank the Lord. My God. Okay, engine off. Engine off. Change truck. Wow, that was terrible. Now, where were we? Okay. Let's go to the low range and just first. position uh, I, I mean as flat as I may be able to get it so um, let's activate the anchor that's main mode let's get this packed on our, our flatbed here government work okay good one down three to go uh, let's get this other one here as well before we go through no 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 let's not tip over again that was not fun the first time and we will not do it the second time I mean especially now that we have cargo Okay, solid. That was solid. Let's go to auto because I think we're kind of good. Okay, does this look flat enough? That seems flat enough. Activate anchor, train modes. Grab this. Uh, get downwards and scrap that. I think I'm getting better at this. There we go. Escape. Uh, unpack cargo, pack cargo, store crane, that's two out of two loads, and 
let's try... We actually need to get this dude's house, and man, is it in a poor location. I mean, uh, I'm not sure whether this is smarter or this is smarter to get to his spot, because for sure it's not smart to go all the way around. So yeah, let's give this a shot. Actually, you know what, let's also do, give this a shot on, uh, on daytime. I mean, honestly, if we lose the cement in the water, it can actually get dragged all the way by the stream. Well, minus the fact that it actually it will be no longer uh, the cement that the guy actually wants. I mean, it will mix with water. Easy there. Easy there, Bubba. Wow, this is a fast moving river. Okay, uh, we have trees on the right hand side here, so I think that might be wise because it looks bad all the way. But might as well on the right hand side we have uh, grappling points for the winch. Let's also just keep going. Let's switch low gear all the way because for sure I will not be going auto on this. Wow, and is the stream actually pulling us that much? Yes, it is. Luckily, this seems less deep than I thought it was. But still, okay, let's uh, stay on this side. I'm over this trunk here. And try and go slightly diagonally to the river doesn't just push us straight from the side, and there we go. That was, that was probably the easiest part of the thing, and I thought it would be the hardest. Oh well, cargo management, lost packs, 2 out of 4, that's that. Uh, let's actually go and head out for the, the other two cement piles. A bit long in the episode, but uh, not terribly. And if we can get this done within the next uh, know, five or ten minutes, be good enough. But let's still be careful. We don't want to. I should just return with this right now, so I don't have to worry about a double load of cargo. Should be good enough. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's um, drop this off so we don't do a double load of. Uh, well, if we can get out of here, that'd be nice. Can break off. That is probably the problem. Oh, apparently, it wasn't. Hmm. Wait, why is the handbrake? Why activate the handbrake without knowing? By some weird impulse by this point. I do have some room to turn around. 
around here if I really want to. There we go. That was a tiny wee bit of risk tipping, but all good. So does it. Uh, I think we're good fuel wise. I think we shouldn't have any issues. But yeah, poor guy Tim. Just imagining that this is his house and this is his access route. Oh, and there's an actual service trailer here, is it? Oh. Interesting. Well, there's a service tra trailer here and we do have a repair the truck uh, thing here, so that might be cool to do in the future. But, uh, yeah, if that's the path for me to get up here, it's going to be a lot more adventurous. I mean, you know, I think, I think by this point I kind of maybe understand why I, I would not want to do this route again with, um, with, you know, this truck, you know, just do it on a regular. At this point, I, I, I might just want to get the fuel tanker down here, just to have uh, and leave these trucks here to fuel up and stuff. I can see the game expanding before me. Also, this truck is somewhat falling behind. Um, we have. Uh, mud tires or at least I think off-road tires on uh, at level 9 when we reach level 9 so that will be helpful but yeah having the lower suspension not the race suspension and things like that definitely impede us uh, traversing this uh, muddy patch actually let's let's do a right here seems to be pretty solid so we shouldn't have any real issues now I, I think I'm I want to reverse into here I don't think I want to because I don't really have any spot to turn around there and I'd rather uh, leave this area with uh, front facing it, you know, just because of the mud and the extra weight we'll have. Okay, let's stop this, let's activate the anchor, let's clean mode. Let's grab this, let's see where let's raise the arm, let's pull it in. Actually, you know what, let's, uh, I really don't think this matters, but let's pack it on the rear here, just so we can have more down pressure on uh, the rear of the vehicle. Okay, pack cargo, still train. Good. Now, um, hmm. That is indeed an option. If we should we just try and not use the road? See if we can do it on the side here or just you know maybe cross through here. Hmm. Okay, let's check out. This is much better terrain than uh, the mucky uh, forest route. I mean, our wheels are not even dipping at all in the terrain. Okay, and let's just head over this, see how bad this is. Okay, wow. Uh, sure. Uh, 
does it. The rocks would be annoying, but I definitely power over them. And there we go. Pretty solid. Auto, and I guess, yep, this is it for Tim's house and his cement bags that he lost on the river somehow. And yeah, after all the trouble he has, I'm breaking down his fence as well. Cargo management lost bags. 330 XP, 2900 cash. Nicely done, keep it up. Oh, okay. That was a lot more front-loaded a mission than I thought it was, it would be. Uh, let's turn off the engine. Um, that's about it for the day, guys. Uh, although... Hmm, I'm not sure what, to, what we should be doing next time. Uh, we have enough fuel in the Paystar that we can actually get this service trader up to here to repair the truck. I don't think we need to actually pick it up and do it. And take it anywhere okay it's just a repair so i think we can uh, use the base star grab this take it up there repair that we can still siphon some fuel off from the chevrolet if we really need to and i guess we'll see we'll see what we're gonna be doing after that uh either way uh this uh, has been <laughs> fun and a bit of a not over long episode at this point we're reaching on the 14 minute mark uh so again uh, thank you guys for watching and if you liked this episode do the like subscribe all that good youtube stuff i have uh, content which i'm putting up uh, daily on spin tires uh, it's been going on for about a month by this point if i'm not mistaken yeah about because we're about episode 22 something like that um so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one